Hello my Aquarian friends, this is Guiding Halo and this is going to be a reading for the 1st to the 7th of June. Are you guys feeling a little bit stuck? Not sure what to do, which way to head? Perhaps your energy is just a little off. Let's see what we got going on for you guys. For all those who have liked, shared, and subscribed, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being part of the channel. For all those who are new, welcome. We've been waiting for your arrival. This is so great to have you. We have a great group of people here who like to be part of this community and, and encourage each other. Also, um, if it resonates, please leave a comment down below. I love knowing how it resonates and I get back to everybody. Okay. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. There's healing coming to a situation, possibly a wish granted. Perhaps someone's getting a new pet or perhaps somebody is starting a business where pets are concerned or perhaps someone has lost that pet. If you've lost a pet, I'm so terribly sorry. That's painful stuff to go through. I see a big old cup of love being offered here. What's this about? Perhaps you're going to meet somebody or someone's trying to offer you a cup of love, but you're in grieving over the loss of a pet. Or you could be an Aquarius dealing with a Scorpio in some way who would like to offer you a big old cup of love. There's transformation coming here somehow to deal with animals in your life. Working together, maybe you're trying to build a business where animals are concerned. We got two dogs here too by the howling of the moon. Look at that. Maybe you're into horses. I got lots of horses going on here too. Maybe you're hoping to collaborate with somebody on a business that involves animals. If that's the case, I definitely see victory coming for you, my Aquarian friends. Also, if there's been a, a loss, there's healing. Healing is coming. It's not easy. I know it's hard. It's so hard to lose those we love, but they're taken care of. And the divine has them. I see something coming forward that's going to make you very emotional. That you're going to want to work together with somebody on something here. Uh, it's going to bring you victory. This could be just for a very few select people, but and a passionate offer, something you're going to be incredibly passionate about. Yeah, straight from the hand of God, perhaps it's to help you grieve and get over this situation so that you can move forward with victory. Definitely, maybe even an apology coming or an I love you could be from Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Something has been an absolute battle for you, but the divine is right in the middle of this situation. Whatever that's about for you, my friends. What else we got going on here? You have a gift for working with young people and your divine purpose involves helping, teaching, and parenting children. Is someone maybe opening a daycare, thinking about having children, maybe in a legal battle or something regarding children? We have an emperor here. This could be a judge, CEO, boss, father, uncle, someone who's got some power in your world. I see a major offer possibly coming from this person financially that helps you with someone you love. Maybe you guys are trying to have children or start a business where children are concerned and there's some legal matters to tend to. Maybe this big old emperor is offering a big old pinnacle to somebody that he loves. Hmm. Hey, my Aquarian friends, you guys got a big old emperor offering you something? Use your intuition. Maybe they found out you're pregnant with their child or that you want to work with children, and they're like all over that. They think it's amazing. Got to stand up for yourself. Stand up for your beliefs. Stand up for, yeah, trust your intuition. Could be dealing with water energy here as well. There's an offer coming. It may seem to move slow, but the divine is here to tell you it's a lot bigger than you think it is. Okay? Something that can grow in the long term. Yeah, new contracts. About signing new contracts. About... Uh, having everything you need in the palm of your hand, you could be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This
this is something you take you right into the long term big time and it's a tower moment i don't think you guys see this offer coming i really don't i don't think you see it coming at all no i really don't that's what that tower moment's about and i think you're going to get a message about it Yep, that's what I think. Let's move along. The Seven of Fire, Seven of Wands. Here again, defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. Could be dealing with family scenario here. Knight of Swords. Someone coming in with information very fast, maybe untactfully, perhaps about love or about how their emotions about something. Need to find balance, my friend bounce between what's going on in your mind and your heart that way you can move from a gut centered place okay let's see what we got going on here defending your beliefs what are we defending our beliefs about perhaps a mother figure or perhaps someone in your world has gotten pregnant and is bringing a child into your life you've been feeling out in the cold possibly where a divine empress energy is concerned You've been putting in the work, buckling down, working hard, trying to bring things to fruition. Why do I hear a but coming? But unable or unwilling to make a decision. Someone's been watching you perhaps online. Or you've been watching someone else online. Yeah, there's been sadness. Great sadness. Something's happened here with the Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn that's really brought sadness to your life. Perhaps it's somebody you thought you could trust and realized you couldn't, maybe. Yeah, we're talking about balance again. The need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. Wait for, for, for perfect timing. So if you're thinking about moving forward with something and you're confused about which cup to put the energy into, about what to say, about which emotion to go with first, wait for the perfect timing because you have a Nine of Cups moment coming here, which is beautiful. That's a wish granted. And you've put in the work, you've put in the time. This is something that's been over time. This is not something that's been like right now, new, brand new, whatever this is about here. There's there's a lot. This is all about dealing with issues that have been here previously, before now. Moving away from rough times with a soulmate, perhaps someone you feel a very strong connection with. Gemini energy also could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You'd like to move away from rough times towards that Nine of Cups per se. Maybe that's what's on your mind, my Aquarian friends. There's an offer coming, something very small. You might think is very small. Perhaps could be through the uh, gift of a child or something said. Or maybe it's just a new creative endeavor that you can sink your teeth into. Anything you think is small, the Divine says it's big. Pay attention. All right. You're at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon the angels to comfort you and guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now. Oh, yeah, it does. Look at that. Nine of Cups. This is beautiful, my Aquarian friends. I wish you well. Big old Ace of Pentacles. Big old Nine of Cups. Someone's been feeling left out in the cold. But dang, I'm telling you, the divine is stepping in to bring something to fruition for you guys. Okay? Blessings. If it resonates, leave a comment below.